Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Keeping exotic pets continues to rise in popularity as people hunt for new and differing types of pets. While domestic pets are best, some people prefer something a little bit more weird. Keeping exotic pets, which are often incorrectly considered to be wild animals, has become very controversial. In this video, I'll show you 10 exotic animals you can keep as pets. Most people think keeping wild animals is a risky thing and not a very smart way of spending money. There's actually no clear line that separates so-called domesticated and non-domesticated animals. Make sure you watch till the end, as I'll be unveiling a bonus pet. And without further ado, let's dive in. The first exotic animal you can keep as a pet is a serval. Although not always a perfect pet for everybody, the serval is an incredibly beautiful exotic cat that comes from Africa. Owning a serval requires a more particular mindset than owning just a regular house cat. Servals aren't typically aggressive, but they'll be difficult to have as they're still considered wild. These beautiful animals will be very affectionate, but they need survival instincts that you just might not be able to train. Regardless, they'll make great companions. The second animal you can keep as a pet is the tarantula. Tarantulas might not be everyone's cup of tea. But some people find them fascinating. The advantage of owning a tarantula is that they're very low maintenance pets. They don't require much apart from feeding and cleaning their cages. They might be soft and fuzzy, but they're by no means cute. Still, the tarantula is pretty harmless. Its bite isn't fatal, it doesn't eat much, and apparently you can play with it. The third exotic animal you can keep as a pet is a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are adorable. Caring for a hedgehog is often like the care you'd give to rodents like hamsters or guinea pigs. They'll need a cage, food, water, a topographic point, and an area to try to do their business. It's legal to own a hedgehog in most states around the US. However, there are some places where it's still illegal. Pennsylvania, Hawaii, California, Georgia, and Maine. But you might be ready to own one with a permit in these states. The hedgehog may be a genuine cutie, but this nocturnal creature is going to be up all night spinning its wheel while you're trying to sleep. And they certainly don't meet the cuddle criteria. The fourth exotic animal you can keep as a pet is the hyacinth macaw. Oh, uh, hello, uh, okay. Uh, no, no, those are breath mints. Uh, not that you need one, but they're good. You eat them. Oh, whoa, no, 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 not the whole box. Get that out of here. No. Hyacinth macaws can grow up to 40 inches tall with a 60 inch wingspan. They are extremely strong animals. If you decide to own this huge macaw, you'll want to start training it as young as possible to make sure they never hurt anyone with their powerful beak. They're very smart birds that like to play and climb. The hyacinth macaw is a gorgeous parrot that might just make for an incredible pet within the right home. These birds need an oversized enclosure and also daily engagement with their owners. They're very intelligent and may be loud if they're stressed or lonely. They also live up to 60 years, so you'll want to have a plan for them just in case they outlive you. The fifth exotic animal you can keep as a pet is the fennec fox. 40. There you go. Way to work that diaper, big guy. Hey, no kiss bye-bye for daddy? You kiss me tomorrow, I'll bite your face off. Fennec foxes also come from the African continent and are the tiniest breed of fox in the world, only reaching about four pounds when grown. Their behavior closely resembles both that of a dog and cat. Usually playful and energetic like a dog, the fennec fox is additionally independent like a cat, although they do not usually favor dog or cat toys. They typically live to be 10 to 15 years old, so buying a fennec fox could be a commitment, like most pets. It's legal to have a fennec fox everywhere within the US except for Missouri, Minnesota, Nevada, and Washington. The sixth animal you can keep as a pet is a wallaby, closely resembling the kangaroo. Wallabies are often brought up as mini kangaroos. They're extremely common within the wild in Australia, but are seen around us as pets. Wallabies are truly an exotic species, as they're not like any of the pets you've owned before. If you're considering getting a wallaby as a companion, you'll need to try to do plenty of research before bringing one home. Lots of outdoor space is required to own a wallaby, and for that reason, they're illegal to possess inside many city limits. Check with your state before deciding to own a wallaby as a pet, as you'll need to obtain a license first. I mean, it's sort of like a baby kangaroo, which sounds so cool. However, wallabies are incredibly fussy and need lots of space, which not everyone has. Plus, they will grow to reach up to six feet tall. The seventh animal you can keep as a pet is the chimpanzee. We've recruited a few extra thumbs for you, Skipper. Hello, people. 
be a monkey's uncle. Now I doubt that. <laughs> Now let's get to work. Chimpanzees are often difficult pets. They have a lifespan of 50 years, meaning you're signing up for a lifelong commitment to raising this wild animal. A male chimp can grow to be around 150 pounds and has a minimum strength twice as much as humans. Designing an enclosure for your new pet could also be difficult, as it will need to be extremely durable. Chimps do belong in the wild, but if you're properly trained and have experience around primates, you'll be in luck. Owning a chimpanzee is prohibited in most states throughout the U.S. But you can get a license to have one in a few states, like Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, or North Dakota. The eighth animal you can keep as a pet is the chinchilla. The chinchilla may be a member of the rodent family, but it's also amongst the more destructive ones. Owning a chinchilla takes special expertise and patience. They do not prefer to be cuddled, but they like to play. They get bored easily, so they'll need many fun things to entertain them. As long as the chinchilla is not captured from the wild, it's legal to have one in most states, with no license required. You'll have nothing to worry about as long as you provide them with the correct diet, an adequately sized cage, and a warm, draft-free area of your home. The ninth exotic animal you can keep as a pet is the capybara. The capybara is one of the most important rodents within the world and may weigh up to 140 pounds, but they sure are cute. They're semi-aquatic animals, so if you're looking to adopt a capybara, they'll need to access water to swim around. Although mostly adorable and sweet, capybaras will be a challenging pet. They do better in groups, as they're extremely social animals, so pet owners should avoid getting just one capybara. This semi-aquatic rodent is legal to have in Texas and Pennsylvania. In some states they're legal, but require a license. If you're unsure, talk it over with your local registration before deciding to bring the capybara home as a pet. The tenth exotic animal you can keep as a pet is the bearded dragon. Originating from Australia, the bearded dragon is a common house pet. They can grow up to be two feet long, so you'll need plenty of space for them in your home. Although they like to be held and handled, you'll still want to scrub your hands thoroughly afterward. Bearded dragons are legal to have in the U.S. and are sold in most pet stores. Bearded dragons are calm, friendly, and simple to move. Bearded dragons are one of the best lizards known for being docile and friendly. They're a wonderful beginner lizard and might have the best chance with children who are taught to handle them responsibly. They don't grow to a large size like some lizards, and while they have an adequately sized habitat, they can still be kept comfortably in an exceedingly small place like an apartment. And finally, for watching till the end of the video, the bonus pet you can keep at home is the ball python. Although smaller than boas, ball pythons can reach up to 3 to 4 feet long and live for an average of 20 to 30 years. Like other snakes and many other pets, you'll need the proper enclosure, lots of food, and the right environment for them. While ball pythons are illegal to own in some places, they're legal to own in places that don't require a license. But before bringing one of these bad boys home, make sure you don't have other smaller pets at home, so they might not, you know, get eaten while playing with your python. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like and subscribe to this channel to get more first class information like this, and be the first to find out when I post my next video. See you in the next video!